in favor of the UB Fighting Maroon. Fashion, he got it. Excitement, it's definitely there as these two teams try to sustain winning streaks. Time remaining 2 and 29 here in this third quarter. The score 45 40 in favor of UB. UE is fresh from a major fishing expedition, having gotten both Ateneo and La Salle, as I now send you to Ana Santos for this report about UE. Yes, sir. During the timeout, the boys were told not to go against the system. Coach Dinger said that he might be making alterations on UE's play, but instructed the team to just focus and the be, att be attentive to instructions. He said that he wants to see movement on the court and reminded the boys that they should stop giving up easy shots. Instead, make them bleed for the ball, perform well defensively, and make things happen. Seven Rand. Well, very difficult for just to go with the system without KG Canaleta and uh, Paolo Hubalde. Coach Dido has put in a new guy in the person of Mark Louis Prada. So you know he's digging deep into his, uh, his well and hoping that he could come up and turn the tide here. But so far, UP, Nestor David, Abi Santos making really hey while the sun shines 48-40. Biggest lead of UP, eight points. The field goals of the quarter. So UP is doing much, much better than UE. In the meantime, the Maroons regain possession. By the way, our colleague and friend, assistant to the PBL commissioner, Butch Maniego, is back in town after a trip by the PBL to Qatar. All those interested in the Pasalubok from Butch Maniego, and sabi ni Butch, buhangin marami. Welcome back, Butch. Of course, many of our players in the UAP do get to play in the PBL, own their skills there. In the meantime, Bison picks up that air ball. Open shot. That won't work for Pradas. You know, no Dindus, offense. Dindus trying to look for somebody new, huh? Yes, because, you know, he can't get uh, anything on the game of Ubalde and Canaleta. Yeah. But, you know, it's a big risk at this point. A minute and 37, UP is finishing strong. The lead has been uh, extended to eight. And, you know, if UE misses a shot from long distance, there is no chance for an offensive board for them. You know, each game is precious. I want to go back to what Ryan Gregorio said the other time. When he was coaching UP, they had gone 7-7 in the tournament, but still could not get into the final four because NU just played better that year. And last year, La Salle was 7-7, and they were able to get into the final four. Yes. But I think it's going to be keener than 7-7 this year when this you year, have huh? three teams already with 4-4. Four and four. So as we go back to the steam signings, if you look at uh, J.D. Penson, oh, idol also is Kevin Garnett for uh, Penson. UE can go as high as 8-6 and six if they sweep the rest of the six games remaining for them, including this game against UE. The rebounding edge belongs to UP 12-7 in the quarter. But you know, I like this UE team when they finish. They usually finish strong. I think some of the key players on the bench, they're being rested by Dindo Pumalin right now. So this is a holdover guy, you know, trying to hold the fourth, trying to keep it slim and manageable for UE. The guy's on the floor right now. Bruce launches. Yes! Uh, he's, two. he's been looking for it. The lead is double digits at 50 to 40. Yui needs a basket here. This is the biggest lead enjoyed by the team from Dillinon. They pick it up. Bruce off to the races. Pops quickly. Can't get it to stay inside. Rebound controlled by the but not for long. They lose it at the baseline. Uh, transition opportunities for UP could have been 12 for them. You know, when you say they represent Dillon Man, that's used loosely because there are so many UP campuses uh -huh. also around the country, like in Iloilo. Uh, Iloilo, in uh, Los Baños, in the Visayas. Yes. Almeda trying to sneak in from the rear. La Bagala. There's no need for UP to rush that. What do you think it's worth the walk here? But 14 seconds remaining. But you know, that is easier said than done in the college game. But yes. the excitement on Laro. Ah, go! Yeah, the spirit tells you not to, to uh, slow down. But here, this will be the last play for UP. UE cannot give a foul here, otherwise it's going to be two free throws for UP. Benson with the inbound. 
You'll be with that a cappella cheer of theirs in the background. Mensa driving hard, turnaround shot, almost had it. Beasdom blocks the rebound, and the final shot of the quarter is a home run. And Yui needs home runs in the fourth quarter because Lito Vergara's team, he said, they're beginning to display net with fans from the four schools that will play today. Time now for a close-up moment as we play Max Mega, the gentleman is Jonathan. Uh, he represents FU. And uh, from Table Classic, we've got Hannah. They are our combination for our first game today. Get killer confidence, and you will be able to meet your match with close-up. We're inviting you to watch the games live and visit the close-up planet booth. Then who knows? You might also be chosen as our close-up match point couple. Glad you could have us. Uh, uh, you can be with us rather this afternoon. That's our meeting with Professor Randy Sakdalan, Anna Santos, Gretchen Rodrigo, and our director Rose Del Campo taking care of moving the cameras around. Missed by UP from the corner. Now, UE, this is critical. You know, they need a good bus out here. La Bagala starting the scoring. And look at the quarter record. Only 10 points scored by UE in the third period. What a meltdown for them. But hey, they're trying to make up for that lost the third period, Sam. Now, Lito Vergara is worried, not really of the officiating, but his team, we're rather with the point about his team playing smart uh -huh. And here they have to, the mental toughness again may have to come in, because here they're not coming back, but they're trying to protect a lead. Santos now, now this uh, is a burden. That's number four. And Cervantes quickly tapped by coach Lito Vergara. He has to sit down. He cannot be lost completely in this ball game. And Cervantes, well, he'll match up well because they don't have a big guy on the side of UE. Good point. Inbound for the Red Warriors trying to pursue an eight-point lead. This will trickle out. They fought for, picked up by David, and somebody sprawled downstairs. That's Balaganas. That shot did not go anywhere. The spot clears. Almeida trying to drag it up. La Bagala attacks. The dish off at the last moment. Yes. The four straight points for Yui, and the lead has been cut down to six. And Lito Vergara has no choice but to quell this rally with a timeout. Their lead has been trimmed, as Randy pointed up, to six. Masarap sa break time ang Nescafe. Maaga natin nilabas po. Hindi handa ang cue card. Ito ilalabas natin dahil maaga yung timeout. And this is brought to you by Nescafe 3-in-1. Masarap sa break time. Is this Marga? Okay, it's Marga. Marga from the box. De La Salle Sobel, 16 years old. Uh, she likes wall climbing and uh, all kinds of sports. She's our Cinderella eye catcher of the game. And uh, log on to www.pinoycentral.com to vote for your Cinderella eye catcher of the month. In the meantime, it's time to do the move with Nescafe Ice. And that's a great feat. You'll be trying to stop the surprising by the Warriors. You need a basket as well. The Corona Tribal Council in the Warriors and they suddenly <laughs> decided we have to get this game. It's momentum going to our side, which it continues to be so. Oh, what a pickup there by Almeida, who's already lost for Yubi. Maspang tries to push his way through. His way jam. Arellano gets it. He's, he's just getting better and better. You know, he's very consistent. He picks his shots. And they're within six one more time. A 1-3-1 one, one formation yes. on the half-court set uh, defensively by UE. Cruz and company try to be patient. Cruz has nobody to pass through with the wings. David says, where are we going? This is a zone. We can't break it. Downstairs we go. Ibanez pulls oh. up and scores. Good turn there by Ibanez and David. Look for that option inside. He anticipated the double team. Bakala ko walang pupuntaan eh. For a while, yes, sir. Less than eight minutes to go. Winning streaks are on the line. Oh, Alio, too much as fires. You know, that's too much to ask for Luis Palaganas from a Labagala pass. Too for much uh, starch on the pass, huh? <laughs> too, much, uh, too much sugar in the coffee. Let's look at this smart buddy instant replay. And uh, this was just sheer effort. You'll be back in possession, 54-46. Almeda. Cervantes. No bite on the three, and a loose ball ball on Ibanez off the rebound. But trying to get it from the back of uh, RJ Masbang. First foul of Ibanez. And two team fouls now for UP. 
Lito Vergara is having nightmares about the officiating right now. And he's trying to tell his players, just play above it. And he's talking to uh, number six, Chire Ampanias, to concentrate. Timing. Oh, Almeida! Bust up! Gone! <laughs> no, no, no. waggling. <laughs> you know, well, it's a big risk here by Lindo. He put in a new guy in Juan Marco Tabaquero, number 16. He was the one who issued that, that lazy pass for uh, Robert Tabagala that resulted into a turnover. And a quick two points for Yupi. A repeat of their biggest speed of 10. The corner shot, the significant point is that the big guns who Balde and Canaleta are not on the floor. They have not delivered today for UE. A question really is, will they be fielded in by uh, Dito? This is a solo version of the amazing Milo Fast Break. I call this the Spider-Man version. Do it all by yourself. <laughs> and uh, Almeida, there he goes with his tang waggle. There's the Baguera in the corner. Open shot, old work for Palaganas and Labagala picks it up, short stab, in but out, and it's tipped back in. He's on converting on a foot back, so Yui sustaining the pressure on UV. Palaganas now with four points. He has played well of late. Almeda drops into the bid. Heavy traffic, nothing there. Eight point game. And a Cruz, that's number four on Marvin Cruz. Marvin Cruz. Gretchen, and daming nangyayari just the side mo dyan. And what's up there? Gretchen, go ahead, please. The Maroons did exactly as what they were told by coach, to gain lead. They performed and executed their shots well. But the game isn't over yet. The challenge for them is to sustain it and to go all the way. This is the final quarter, and they should be patient, remain focused, and show how determined they are to win. Seven rounds. Oh, determined is an understatement here with the way you're looking at Tito Vergara, the coach of UP. He has been a bundle of nervous, excited energy here on his birthday. I'm sure they have a cake somewhere for him, but I'm sure he'd like to enjoy it with a win here today. You know, I think that they have accepted the fact that, you know, the calls may not really go their way, and they just have to move on. You know, when he took out Marvin Cruz, he wasn't the same coach who was fuming mad in the first half. That's a nice new expression nowadays, that I move on. Have a life. <laughs> move on. <laughs> Bonding. You know, new words, you know, which we hear from our students, you know. Open shot, Ferrer. Three. Rattles out. He's on. In control. This is still not yet over for UE. They just need to get some production. Mind up, and Tabacera is looking for the basketball. They have to recycle the offense. It's in the hands of Tabagala. Shot block 11. Basman is blocked. That's a big one. That is a big one. That would be a good decision for RJ Basman to take that shot. It just goes beyond his, uh, his range. And a look at the smart buddy in the free play. Banyas showing up. From the corner, Malagana's air ball. And Cabral has it. Ferrer and company want to be delivered. 5 and 30 to go. Banyas. And a great shot. Oh, yeah. Almeida just playing so well. No, 16 points now. He's the leading scorer. And what a comeback here for Almeida. A wake up thing in the second half. I know what's happening there on the UE side. Yes, um, Coach Bingo wants the boys to show aggressiveness on the court. He said he hasn't seen UE field play so far. And playing according to plan is very critical in this point of the ball game. He also told the boys that he wants to see an active play and an execution based on strategy and communication and not out of frustration. Back to seven red. Determination definitely on the side of UP. It's the problem of UE. They cannot match the intensity uh -huh. of the Maroons here in this game. La Pagala. Oh, they get it from the corner. You know, this, this twin guards of uh, UE keeping them in the ball game. Arellano, how many points? 16. 16, so matching up with Almeda, 16 of UP. They can't get anything from Cañaleta or Humalde. Let's get it from somewhere else. 
Almeida launches. Not quite, and a foul. No, no foul. I thought they'd call it on the mid. Four minutes to play, eight point UV lead. A three point shot will change the mood of this ball game. These are turn around. You know, the shot blocking of UP has been picked up several no. notches here. No, three blocks in this quarter for UP. And not a good idea, really, for UE to get into the inside. They're getting their points moist, mostly from the perimeter. And it's time for a turn-up. And this is brought to you by Nescafe 3-in-1. Masarap, some great time. Metal to best rally, Sabdalan, and Santos for UE. Gretchen Pulido for UP. This is the story today. Well, Canaleta, 71% field goal shooting. In the last four games of UV, UE, where they, uh, I think, registered a 3-1 record. But today, only 20% shooting for Canaleta. And he hasn't even played in the fourth quarter. Is that Paulo Baldi? Yes, I think he's struggling also. In the meantime, UP has an eight-point lead now. UE is beginning to get points from Palaganas and Arellano. They're hoping that this is the unit that will bring them back into the ballgame. Traveling. You know... Another new player put in by Tito Pumarin is A.C. Acuna. And turnover points, UP has really turned the ball over less and has scored more on the turnover committed by UE. Okay, you were going back to the point about Acuna. Yes, Acuna, the second, filled for the first time by Tito Pumarin. He couldn't get anything from Canaleta in Hubalde. And he's trying other peppers, trying to perk them up here in the last 3 minutes and 25 of the ball game. UP beginning to feel the tension. Gretchen Pulido, be careful, don't fall off your chair. <laughs> He's about to fall off the chair. <laughs> oh. You know, I have not recalled the time in the last two, three years that UP has stitched together three straight wins. It's been a while. It's been a while since they've had a streak. As we take a look at this matchup, not too much from these two guys here today, but uh, the minutes I really have no effect. It's other people who have just produced here today. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, mile away for free. He's got anywhere energy lap a bar now. No, Epres. Another three-point shot. Six points for Victor Epres. And the oh. lead is 11 Sam, for UP. Because Epres, who had that big game against De La Salle, yes. remember? It was 4 of 4, if I'm not mistaken, in that game. And then he wasn't feeling in the fourth period. That's the irony of it all. In the meantime, UP with its current biggest lead of 11, 61 to 50. Acuna. Marvin Cruz, solo, amazing, Milo fast break. Completely a different team for UP with Marvin Cruz on the floor for them. UP has not cheered this much in a long, long time. Next to three and one. Masarap, it's a break time. We've got a timeout. Like this in an amazing fast break brought to you by Milo. Sometimes it's just sheer carelessness as we see this moment being enjoyed. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you know, uh, th this player uh, was fielded in yeah, Ben Son. Ben Son. Did not see all that many minutes, but he will get the award for the best jump today. <laughs> and Marvin Cruz starting that transition play with a good steal. You know, UE has not collected a foul here, Seb, in the fourth period. UP, they're in the penalty, and somehow you have to ask why is UE not committing a foul, at least to put a stop in the defensive ploy of UP, which is really rampaging at this point. That's, that's one point. As, look at this. This Final. is not UE's day. No, nope, definitely, you know. Fourth foul of RJ Masbang. Second to Marcy Arellano. He's the most consistent player on the side of UE. Are you sure this Vergara guy is not a player? Because, you know, <laughs> he's, he has this enthusiasm uh, uh, that is so just so contagious. And I think that's why they made him head coach of the senior program. And, and it's his birthday today. Then. Okay. So, and the other player... Uh, Ayana Buiko. Let's see if they can hang on and really light those candles today. You'll be beginning to use clock here. Corner shot through. And a foul by a press as he clipped.